The building and construction sector accounts for some 40% of uh, global energy-related carbon emissions. So with you know, global urban population projected to rise to 70% by 2050, uh, the built and construction sector is honestly very pivotal in driving carbon reduction and transitioning towards a low-carbon future. Uh, CDL has been listed in Singapore since 1963 and uh, we are known as a property pioneer uh, over here in Asia Pacific. Our portfolio comprises uh, residences, uh, offices, hotels, service departments, shopping malls and integrated uh, mixed-use development. Since 1995, we have strongly embraced uh, our corporate ethos of conserving as we construct and really made uh, sustainability uh, very much a part of our DNA. For CDL, we focus on all three elements of ESG, environmental, social and governance. In terms of um, environmental aspect, we are focused on water, waste and um, energy. In terms of the social element, we continue to make sure that we have an environment um, that is safe, healthy and secure for our construction workers. On the governance side, we continue to work with service providers and contractors who share our ESG conviction. We do see that investors are more keen to inquire more about ESG uh, issues and how we address them. We are actually ranked on the top 12 uh, global rankings and indices and we are also the top real estate company for the 2020 top 100 global sustainable companies in the world. Back in 2019, we implemented Sustainable Finance Framework and also in 2019, you know, to accelerate green movement for buildings as well as low carbon footprint for uh, buildings. So in the same year, we also did something innovative. You know, we did a 250 million uh, SDG innovation loan. In order for investments to combat climate change, it's important that asset owners build new buildings using sustainable and eco-friendly material and resource, adopt construction process and methods that helps the environment like prefabrication, and continue to upgrade and enhance old buildings and existing buildings. So by focusing on older buildings and existing buildings can actually move the needle. We also want to communicate with our stakeholder and the larger community face to face. So we have set up three national platforms. The first one, we call it uh, My Tree House, which is a green library, basically to engage young kids and to learn about climate change, to learn about animal, you know, sea, marine conservation. The second one was actually, we called it a CDL Green Gallery. It's a zero energy building uh, using technology of PBVC and it's only powered by solar panels. So we want to showcase a physical platform, a building that what exactly is green building about and what you can do, you know, to contribute to a greener future. And last but not least, in 2017, we opened a Singapore Sustainability Academy and we have engaged NGO partners. We gave half of the space for Sustainable Energy Association Singapore and they have very good track record of more than a decade in training and also engaging uh, sustainable energy professionals in the region through their collaboration with Asian Development Bank. To survive in a new normal, businesses have to go beyond risk mitigation and step up on adaptation with innovation. How we've really tried to push the envelope in innovation is uh, our partnership with NUS, National University of Singapore. They have a School of Design and Environment, so we partner with them uh, to come up with NUS CDL, uh, Tropical Technologies Laboratory, to really drive R&D and find out more ways that we can come up with innovative uh, technologies. CDL and us at SDE have shared the common sort of aspiration uh, which align our mutual sort of uh, uh, objective and goals in a very, very good way. 
uh, the idea of integrating right, the entire process, not just in terms of the conceptual design, but all the way to implementation and operation and maintenance. As a very positive thinker, I feel that if we can truly uh, adopt the very collaborative you know, uh, spirit and effort, I'm sure that we can find solutions to help us you know, uh, recover better, greener, and in a more sustainable manner. We only have one planet, okay, and it's our duty and responsibility, you know, I think to take better care of it. And I think it, this is a timely reminder to all companies that we can be easily devastated by uh, pandemics, by natural disasters. And now is the time when I think companies need to start thinking uh, and aligning uh, their business operations and best practices so that they start taking better care of the environment. I really, truly believe that with a combination of wisdom and technology, the world can be healed and we can really contribute to you know, a more sustainable world for many generations to come. Everybody can make a difference. <laughs>